Hi there, my name is Dan and this is a free clip from my larger Microsoft Word training course. Check out the link in the description or go to bringyourownlaptop.com for more. Hi there, in this video we're going to look at correcting your images, okay, making it look nicer, okay, fixing the brightness and contrast, and we're also going to do something like this where we kind of make it black and white, add our corporate color to it, and fade it out so it's kind of a nice big block image thing. All right, let's go and do that. Great, so first of all, we're going to look at maybe fixing the image up. This one's pretty good because it's a stock library image. So if yours is maybe you've shot it yourself on your phone or on a camera and it's just not quite perfect. Okay, with the image selected, we're gonna go to this one that says format and we'll go to this one that says corrections. And the cool thing about it is if you hover above it, you might have to, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, if you hover above it, can you see my actual image over here adjusts? Watch this if I hover above it. Okay, so you can just kind of like slowly work your way through. Mine's a pretty fast computer and it's still pretty slow. Okay, and you just decide whether you want this brighter or darker. Okay, and there's this kind of like, yeah, nice spectrum that plays between contrast and brightness. Now, sharpen and soften. Okay, so you can soften it in the middle is like the doing nothing to it. Go this way, it gets a bit fuzzy. Might be cool as a background image. Okay, nice and blurred out. And you can sharpen it up as well. It gets a little bit ultra sharp, this one here. Cool. So those are the basic um, corrections. What I want to do is I want to actually play around with the color. So under color, I would like the saturation here. Okay, you can bump it up. You can lower the saturation, just making it brighter, and you can put it right down to 0%. That's what I want to do in terms of this black and white. Other color tones, okay, you can mess around with it, you make it. This is, you can see it says Calvin there, or K, this just depends on like if you shot this inside in an office, it's often going to be quite blue. So you'll want to bump up the Kelvin, okay, to something higher that looks more like daylight. And if it's shot outside and maybe too bright, you want to lower it down a little bit, okay, um, you can move it down. Okay, mine's perfect, so I'm going to leave it as is. Um, I like these recolor options as well. That's what I want to do, okay. I want to do something like this. Can you see it's like a dark teal? but I wanna use my actual corporate color. So if you wanna have a specific color, obviously you can just wing it and pick a color here. Okay, but what I wanna do is go to the one that says more variations, and you can see there's my color there. Okay, we added this in a previous tutorial when we set it as the default. If you haven't done that tutorial, go to more colors and you can add your own corporate color there. Great, so I like this, okay, but what I'd also like to do is make it darker because it's, uh, it's a bit bright. So I'm gonna go back to corrections. Okay, and there's an option in here. Okay, so brightness and contrast. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Just style points, I guess. Click on that one. So it's the right corporate color where it's in the right zone at least, and it's nice and dark now. All right, so that's basic corrections and adding a color to the top of your image. How'd you find that video? Was it good? Was it bad? If you liked it, go check out more of my courses on bringyourownlaptop.com.